We're gearing up for round one of the NHL playoffs. Joining us from Toronto right now from Hockey Central is the one and only Nick Kiprios. Good to have you on this morning, Nick. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Good to be with you guys. Now, just before we talk about the playoffs, let's do a bit of reflection on, uh, on your thoughts here about the Canucks and, and how things went for them last season. Yeah, disappointment, no question about it. Much like the rest of the country, uh, time to be uh, reevaluated um, in many ways. You know, the challenges are for some of the guys, including Jim Benning, uh, Trevor Linden, is uh, inheriting some of the challenges uh, that were left behind. It's not easy to clean up a few things. Uh, moving forward, we know that uh, we don't see as many trades as we did before. We know that uh, free agency is limited, but they're going to have to put their uh, their hard hats on and, and get to work here because it's really unacceptable uh, that we have no Canadian teams in the playoffs this year. Uh, soul searching, look in the mirror, get it fixed so this never happens again. <laughs> what do you think the management team needs to do then during the offseason? You know what, they, they got to get some depth. Uh, they've got to figure out situations, including the Sedins. Uh, you know, we all love them um, in terms of what they've been able to bring in the past. But if you cannot support them, if you cannot figure out a way to maximize the next uh, uh, 12 months or 24 months, then there's got to be a, a situation where you got to look at it and say, you know, can we move them? Uh, that's that's really uh, the gist of it. It's either go big in the next couple of years or go home and, and start building up assets. The good news for Vancouver fans is that they will get another excellent prospect in the draft and uh, and, and you got to decide. You got to go go big or go home and and that's what needs to be decided I think in the summer. All right looking ahead to round one here. Who do you like in uh, in the Western Conference? Uh, St. Louis Blues. <laughs> I got them uh, ahead of Chicago and a lot of people think I'm nuts because uh, why would you ever bet against uh, Jonathan Taves, uh, Pat Kane and, uh, and Duncan Keith. But I just think that they're a little deeper on the blue line. No, they do not have a superstar like Duncan Keith, but they, I think from one to six, uh, there seems to be a little bit more depth there. The big question, of course, this time of year is Brian Elliott. He was hurt, came back in the latter part of the regular season, maybe with, a, um, with the exception of a hiccup against uh, the Boston Bruins. He's been outstanding. I think he's ready for the challenge. Um, they also have Jake Allen there as well. But I just think uh, with a guy like Alex Steen, who looks to me built for seven-game series, um, that they're primed this year to go deep in the in the Western Conference. And what about the East? I've got the Washington Capitals. Uh, they remind me a little bit of our 94 team where it was just from beginning to end um, a first place hockey club. You have to go into the playoffs with a feeling like you're just destined this year and I think they have it. Ovechkin for the first time seems to get the, the, the team factor um, at, at times in his career. It seemed like a selfish player that only thought of himself, but I think he's starting to figure out that this, this time of the year you have to rely on your teammates and they have to rely on you. And I think that uh, they're, they're, they're primed uh, to win the Stanley Cup. But that's on paper or in my head, you got to play the games, right? Nick, for the average person, uh, really quickly here, 15 seconds to go, that, that wants to support a Canadian team, there are no Canadians, obviously, and no Canadian yes. teams here. What is going to be the most entertaining <laughs> series to watch? What team should they be getting behind? Well, I, I think Pittsburgh and the Rangers will be a lot of fun to watch. They hate each other. There's a history there that goes back uh, from Mario and, and Adam Graves uh, breaking uh, Mario's uh, wrist. Um, but I think that uh, I, who wouldn't want to see in the next round Crosby versus Ovechkin? You know, that kind of that rivalry has kind of been set a, a aside. Uh, due to various reasons, including concussions for Crosby. But in the back half of this regular season, Crosby was good as he's ever been his whole career. Uh, could that be a series that we can look forward to in the next round? Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Nick Kiprios joining us live from Toronto this morning. Appreciate your insight as always. Nice to see you.